You can see by the size of my smile how excited I am today to introduce you to the newest member of the National Liberal Caucus, the Member of Parliament for Fredericton, Jenica Atwood. And this is the work that I'm excited to do over the coming months and the coming years, and I look forward to campaigning with Jenica in the next general election whenever it happens. And I can tell you we're convinced that she will make an enormous contribution to our government and to the people of Canada. And that's why we're so excited today, and that's why I'm so excited to introduce you to my newest colleague in the Liberal Caucus, Jenica Atwood. It's a good day. I think this is a, a positive thing for my community. And I, uh, you know, the past month I've been at a crossroads. Um, it's been, in a word, distracting. Um, and so I'm going where I can do my best work on behalf of my community and for the people that I care so deeply about. We can't also ignore some of the big things that's happened in our country um, over the past few weeks as well. I think about the discovery of 215 children's remains at the former Kamloops Residential School. I think about the terrible tragedy in London, um, the rise of, of hate and racism, xenophobia, Islamophobia. Um, and it's really important that now we stand united as Canadians, as New Brunswickers, as Fredericktonians, um, to do what we can to make sure that there's a better future for our children and our children's children. And that is always at the forefront of my work. And I will continue to do that work um, as the newest member um, of the Liberal Caucus. Um, obviously, this is a day I had not anticipated, um, but I am, am very, again, optimistic and hopeful, and I'm, I'm excited by the opportunity that this brings. And I think, again, that this is a, this is a good thing. Um, and so, uh, very much, again, I, this is about not backing down. It's not about being other than who I am. I'm Jenica, I'm from Fredericton, and I have the same priorities, uh, the same values that I've always had. And so it's my, it's my hope um, that I will still maintain the trust of you know, the, the voters of Fredericton, uh, of, my, of my colleagues, of my friends. Um, and I'm just so excited for the prospect of working with so many incredible people in, in Ottawa. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to get to know members from across party lines over the last almost two years. Um, and I will continue to work as hard as I have in the same capacity. To the people of Fredericton, this is for you. I have loved every minute of being your Member of Parliament. I hope you will allow me to continue that work, to continue to bring your concerns to Ottawa. And the colour of my team uh, does not compromise who I am or what I will continue to do for this riding. To the members of the Green Party locally and across the country that have expressed kindness and solidarity these last few weeks, you will never know how important your words of encouragement and support have been. I have such love for you all in my heart. You mentioned that your, uh, that your past comments still stand. What about your recent comments about the Prime Minister's response to the violence in Israel uh, being inadequate? Does that still stand? Do you still feel that way? Um, so my comments were actually not towards the Prime Minister. Um, and so my, my comments do still stand and that I'm hoping again to have those difficult conversations and work towards uh, what we want to see as, as, as far as peace in the future uh, for the Middle East. Um, so this is again, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's part of this journey is working through those conversations. Um, but my, my opinion is, is supported in that, you know, there's a diversity of views, but it's important that we come together on this in, in particular and our role as Canadians and what that means and looking at, at different issues abroad. Um, so my comments do still stand. People locally, I think, are wondering as well if you had conversations with other parties or if this was just with the Liberal Party about crossing the floor for that. Um, well, so I, I mean, I've worked really hard again to build really strong relationships in, in the House. So any conversations that I've had about, you know, potentially joining other teams, um, I'm, I'm flattered by them. Uh, this is a decision that I, that I had to make. Um, so there, there's been only one option that really was, uh, was for me. I'll say that. And do you still feel that you'll be comfortably able to speak your mind as you have in the past uh, within the confines of the government and a, and a larger party? 
Well, and you know, I've spoken so much over such a broad range of issues over the last two years. I've held 10 critic files. Um, so, you know, I, I, I know that my liberal, um, you know, friends and colleagues know what I'm about and they know what I'm passionate about and how hard I want to work towards um, change on those files. And so I feel welcome and I feel prepared to, to be able to do that, you know, that same work with the same level of passion that I've, I've previously brought. So I would say yes, I, I'm excited for the opportunity to show my stuff kind of in a different, different venue.